Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching. For today's video, I have this makeup look for you guys. This is a Kim Kardashian inspired drugstore makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys like it. Um, I was definitely inspired by a recent picture that styled by Harouche posted of Kim Kardashian and I absolutely fell in love with the whole look. This is the look right here that I was inspired by. So I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see how I got this look right here, then please keep watching. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to start off with this L'Oreal Lumi primer to give my skin a little bit of that glow because Kim K is always glowing, right? <laughs> and for foundation, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige, I believe. And then I'm going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. Well, it's the L'Oreal sponge, so that's also affordable. For concealer, I'm going to use my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. Um, and I think it's in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes and the bridge of my nose, the chin, the forehead. Because, I mean, we need to highlight, right? if it's a Kim K look. And I'm also gonna bake today. I never bake underneath my eyes because eh, I just don't like that whole idea. So, but we're gonna do it today. But first I'm gonna blend this concealer out with the same sponge. And then I'm going to contour, um, cream contour with this LA Girl concealer. And this is in Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to contour the cheeks, the temple, the jawline. I'm just going to contour like I always do. So, yeah. Hide that double chin. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend this out with a dual fiber brush. I'm not sure where this dual ended brush is from. I believe it's Sonia Kashuk. I know I got it from Target when Target was here in Canada, but... I don't know the brand, but yeah. And the contour might look a little bit harsh right now, but we're gonna go ahead and blend this out, so don't worry. Like here, I'm taking my sponge and I am pressing the contour into the skin so everything just blends. Now to set and bake underneath the eyes, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Powder, I think it's called, and this is in Banana Yellow. And I'm going to bake. So, which means I'm just going to leave the powder on for some time and then dust it off. And I'm also going to set my lid and contour underneath the cheekbones as well. So we have a sharp cheekbone. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Bronzer Duo. It's a blush and contour duo. So I'm going to take the bronzer side and I'm going to put that into my crease as my transition shade. I just wanted to dust up the powder. I didn't want to leave it on for too long. So that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to go back to blending. And yeah, I'm just going to put that into the crease. And then I'm going to take a deeper shade of brown. This is another bronzer by L'Oreal. Um, and I'm going to um, deepen up the crease. Next, I'm going into my first Maybelline quads. You'll see me use um, two Maybelline quads in this video. I don't know the names off the top of my head, so I will leave that down below. But this is the first quad I'm using, and I'm taking the dark brown, and I'm putting that in my outer V. So don't bring this color in too much. Just leave it in the outer corners. And I'm also dragging it down. And as you can see, I'm just looking at um, the picture, just to make sure I am going the right way. Then I'm taking that taupey shade from the palette, and I'm just buffing everything out blending out the crease with that now for the lid i'm taking this l'oreal pigment that they have and this was more of a um, silvery pigment which i didn't want so you'll see me go over that with something else and here it is i'm literally using all face products on my eyes today i don't know but this is the maybelline um highlight 
which is amazing. So I'm gonna use that as my lid shadow today. Blending everything out. And then I'm also adding some to the inner corners. Now this is the second quad that I'm using. So I'm taking that dark gray in the quad and I'm just going to smoke out the upper lash. So she doesn't have a winged liner or anything. It's just a little bit smoked out. And then I'm highlighting underneath the brow bone with the same Maybelline highlight. That is the star of the show today, guys. Now I'm gonna add some mascara, then put on some false lashes. For lashes, I'm using my Kiss Number 11 lashes because it doesn't look like she has anything, you know, dramatic going on. Just simple lashes. So that's what I did. Now going into my first quad, I am taking the dark brown and I'm smoking out my lower lash line and bringing it pretty far down as well. Now this is the second quad and I'm taking the dark gray to go over that. Then I'm taking the highlight to highlight the lower lash line because that's what she has going on. Then I'm gonna wet the brush a little bit to make it a little bit more intense and then go back into the highlight again. And here I'm using the same dark gray that I used earlier, but now I'm using it with a flat definer brush. I'm just blending everything out. Now moving on to the face, I am going to set my contour with that same L'Oreal powder. Powder, I was gonna say. The same powder that I used on my eyes, and I'm just gonna set the contour. For highlight, of course, I'm just gonna use the Maybelline highlight, because it's so good. It's the best drugstore highlight, guys. For blush, she had a very peachy cheeks going on, so I'm using my Milani Luminoso. And of course, you want to finish off the eyes with some lower lash mascara. I don't know why I didn't do that on camera, but yeah. Moving on to the lips, I am lining my lips with my NYX Natural Lip Pencil. For her lips, she has very neutral glossy lips on. First, I'm going in with NYX Soft Matte Lipstick in London. And then um, on top of that, for gloss, I'm using the Maybelline Lip Lacquer Gloss. And then I decided to add a little bit of highlight on my lips as well. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the Maybelline highlight and I'm adding that to the center of my lips. And then touching it up with a little bit of gloss again. And that completes this Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and I will see you all in the next one. If you busy plotting on what I got, kicking your door, swat you thought. Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop, half price my whip, same price my watch.